Welcome back everyone to Mage Rage 4. March 2021, we are in the second episode here in week number four, where we are attempting to, I think, are we supposed to be heading south now? Six, I need to head down to around, oh, minus 5,500. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I am supposed to be heading south now. And see how far I can get, and whether or not I can find a dark oak forest, which would be nice. An ocean would be nice. And any place where you can get a... Find some bees, yes. And some bees would be nice. Those are the things that I'm looking for at the moment. Underground, I am going to be needing some lapis at some point, but... I'll probably wait a little while before I go for that again. I tried looking for that at, in last episode, and obviously, since I'm still looking for it, I didn't find any. So we will instead have to content ourselves with what we have. Now, actually, I should verify that I did get what I am seeking. Yes, I did get the redstone block and the coal block. Well, the coal block would be easy to get. We have the bee nest and the mushroom stem and, of course, an ocean. And it'll have to be a fairly warm ocean, I guess, in order to get what we're looking for. But it looks like to the north and to the east we have these really cold places. So I may have to make ice. I mean, it's always a possibility of something that I can do. But I can do that later, just return here or something else like that if I want to make ice. So it's possible that I can find a cold ocean, but you're not going to find coral in cold ocean. So we have to have cold oceans and warm oceans pretty much in proximity with each other if that's going to work. So I don't think it is going to work. And see, we are at see minus 5500 I say yeah so we're another 100 blocks away well 150 blocks away from where we need to turn around oh right and I don't see much in the way of anything useful there well I do see another more spruce up ahead so I have a feeling I'm going to be turning west pretty soon Actually, I, okay, no. Well, at least it stopped raining, so that means that bees will be coming out. And that means if I see any bees, I'm hoping that I'll remember to trace down where they, oh, ice. Well, it looks like I'm not going to have to play any games on trying to find some ice. There's actually a bee there, too. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, so I have 15 ice. Alright, that's good. That means I should now have 3 items. Alright, good. Now, there is a bee around here. So the question is, where is this bee living? Ah, there it is, right over there. So... I need to make a campfire just so that, so I'm not 100% sure I really need the campfire, but it is better to be safe than sorry, shall we say, actually, while I'm here. I can do this and have some food available. Then I also want to have campfire. And I need probably sticks are missing, yes. Don't worry, I've got these that can easily turned into sticks. Then we can make our campfire. Oh, no, I want to make a campfire, not a vampire. All right, there you go. One campfire. And let's see what we've got here. All right. 
Now, see what happens if I do this. All right. Good. I have got now. Yeah, it does. All right. Bee nest. All right. That gives me what I need over there. Oh, I haven't made any tools yet. <laughs> yeah, my usual tools I have skipped on doing this. I will have my usual axe and I will make a pickaxe. The rest of them I can start out with iron on that. Good. That gives me four items now. Yes, it does. Ooh, that is nice. I didn't think that those would be the early ones in there. I have some in here that are early ones that normally wouldn't be. So we are going to be... So now we hit the turnaround point. I'm not too sure these bees would be too happy they just stole their home, but... Oh, well... That's what happens in Mage Rage. All right, now let's see if I could find a... Hmm. I still need a mushroom stem. Now, if I see a regular mushroom, then I might consider just grabbing that, just in case I could convert that into a larger mushroom at some point. But for now... Nothing on that front. But I want to figure that I am going to be seeing a... Either a mushroom island or a dark oak forest at some point. And since we are going around the sea, then there is a chance on the mushroom island side. Ah, here we are. Oh my goodness gracious. I was thinking it was going to be ocean, but now it looks like a... Very nasty swamp instead. Uh, all right, well, we'll just have to go and use this up here. But it's going to be hard to keep track of how far I've gone. And hmm, I really this far late that the sun is that low in the horizon because I presume I am yeah I am facing west I do find that concerning that it is already that oh I have been in this episode for a while all right I guess I just underestimated how long this episode has been going so far all right let's then head on our way See, wait, see, I need to get to minus, minus 5,500, so I'm about halfway to my point right there. Oh, yes. Guess if I get killed, I could do a west trek in order to get where I'm going and I'm trying to think what was the best direction to go in that case. Let's just avoid getting killed. That's probably the best way of it. There seem to be plenty of bees in this area, which probably explains why he decided to include a bee nest in the in the items that you can gather. There you go, and let's head along into there. Anyone have? Oh, that's right. This is C. Hmm. Oh, yes, and I can see the coral right there. So this is going to be a very, very important area in which to do stuff. And I want to save that for the daytime. Now, that means that I don't want to go around taking nasty chances, probably, because I do want to be able to get back here, but I will take the coordinates just in case. Oh, just in case I do something like blink into a wall persistently or anything like that. Not that I would ever accidentally blink into a wall when not while well, not intending to. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, that's right. The, the stone is the perfect thing to... Actually, no, I don't want to close that up. This is what I want to close up with the stone. Put this in here. Put that in 
put that there and let's get some light we got plenty of mobs down there all right Oof. I think I should actually actually finally do that, all that stuff that I skipped doing during the first episode such as cooking things let's see I have iron ore here plenty and finally get a furnace ow I think this is the latest in which I've created a furnace in one of these things well unless there was one where I didn't need a furnace at all well technically I guess I don't need a furnace for this particular one but it'll come in handy in making several items let's see spruce log yeah, I guess I could turn that in now. Is so now I can get a shield that will come in very, very handy when the mobs come around and start attacking me, such as skeletons and the like. Where is all that spruce? Oh, there are the spruce planks there. Good shield. And let's get things into the proper place. Because I've been going through this so quickly. I to, okay, coal ore is in the upper left there. Then we have lapis ore, which is currently... I just put stone into the areas where I don't have it. Redstone ore is right over here. We've got all this coral stuff, which I will be... doing in probably the next episode I could be doing all this coral stuff and then yeah all right so the lapis ore and the coral stuff and the mushroom stem that's what's remaining oh that can give me hmm I might as well get a an iron shirt for that. All right, good. That might increase my chances of survival. Uh, let's see. Let's. Now I don't think I'm going to get down to lapis, but I guess I might as well try and see if I can get any in there, and just try to keep close attention to the time. And fortunately, it is a nice scenario where, well, it, that does make everything a little bit less nice. Hmm. But I don't see any mobs around, and I do have revealing up. Okay, I had revealing up. Let's Alright, I'm thinking that if I can get this lit, good. Well, I should have a better chance now that I've got the, oh, a baby. Mm. That doesn't encourage me any. Uh... Not a mob I I like fighting, especially in tight quarters, because those things are very, very nasty in tight quarters. Yeah, many more mobs are coming up all around us. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Nasty and scary, yeah. Because I am at yeah, 52. Yeah, I'm, I'm still pretty high up, so I'm not going to get down to the level I was thinking of anyway. So I think I'll just use this as a preparation one then. Alright, let's see. What all are we going to be needing in this? Well, Silk Touch is how we're going to harvest everything. So I really don't need it for too many tools. 
two more iron ore. Hmm. Not sure what I can do with all this stuff. I guess I'll just make armor then, because at least I'll have some form of protection and then some boots. So a full set, well, it won't be a full set of iron since I can't have the headgear. But a full set of what you can get in a Mage Rage. There you go. And there you go. And we've got about ooh, four minutes left, maybe. I guess I could take a little bit of this. Oopsie daisy. Well, that wasn't a good thing to do, especially with a baby zombie in the area. It looks like they have decided to flee the area. Or despawn, more likely. Mm hmm. Right before I said, oh no, I'm not going to go down and do anything too far. And then what do I do? I go down. Oh, that must be near the water. He goes, why is there sandstone there? And? Unlikely that this is going to lead me to any lapis. I don't think so. Anybody else? Lots of people home, it looks like. They have all decided it is time to return. Oh, there's that baby! Whoopsie daisy! Well, that was... <laughs> I know, I'm not daring at all. Alright, now. Let's not worry about that for the moment, but we do have a couple minutes left before sunrise, I think. Yeah. couple minutes left. All right, I'll put that there, and that way I could use it to cook up a little bit more iron. Have to decide what I'm going to do with it, but I think no more armor. Maybe I could get an iron pickaxe. When you've got a silk touch pickaxe, and there isn't much that you need to collect that's not using silk touch. There's really low incentive to grab any of that. Hmm. Shovel. Maybe a shovel will come in handy. Yeah, I think shovel is probably most important. Ho, I don't need any of those for anything. All sorts of things in there that I don't need. How about... Maybe I should at least make a chest. You know how I am with making chests in here. Actually, this thing is... Yeah, it, it is now light. It is now the end of the episode. So I'll see you next time where we are going to head out and collect some coral when we return to Mage Rage.